All right, now we want to get back to that story that we had problems with at the top of the show because it is an important one. Governor Andy Bashir says that he's considering taking action to allow medical marijuana in the bluegrass state. Christian Hauser takes a look at the proposal. This session, like the last one and many before it, the General Assembly did not get the job done despite broad support uh, from the public. Governor Bashir outlined four steps to bring medical marijuana to the state. The first being not executive action, but he couldn't point to any other state where it had been done before. Secondly, he wants to establish a medical cannabis advisory team. That team will then travel around the state and listen to what Kentuckians have to say. Lastly, he wants to hear from you. So he's created an email for you to share your thoughts directly. But the main question was, does Bashir have the power to do this? If someone has just told you carte blanche, it's, a, it's against the law, then they haven't done the, the full analysis as we are looking uh, at what different options there are out there. Keep in mind, a medical cannabis bill did pass the state house with nearly a two to one margin, but it died in the Senate without even a committee hearing. I called Senate Majority Leader Damon Thayer, whose district includes part of Kenton, Grant and Scott counties. He's one of several GOP leaders against medical cannabis, but so far he's not returned my call. Here's what he told Kentucky tonight about medical marijuana ahead of the legislative session in January. I've been hearing about it for years. I know my constituents are for it, but this is a Republican. You know, they elect us to go to Frankfurt and make decisions on their behalf, and if they don't like it, they can take it out on the in the next election. Thayer says he's against medical cannabis because he says it's a slippery slope for recreational marijuana.